Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to check out the Spanish Inquisition Soft Medium Edition by Determinated. Right, before we read the description, let's read the map request. They're saying that they're not as worried about the actual test I'm about to play as much as they are about how to make actual puzzles. They're really struggling to make complex maps that aren't frustrating to play or to make. They think their tests are too linear and not actually puzzly, and uh, they, they really need help. Alright, so, yeah. Along with, along with, like, Demon Arisen's How to Make Grit Tiss Chamber series and Rectorox's Guide and all that, it really comes down to playing lots of puzzles. You have to play a lot of maps to sort of get an idea for what makes a map good or bad. There's a lot of bad maps on the workshop and a lot of good maps on the workshop. You just have to play a lot of them, and after a while, you'll start to get a feeling for that. And by my own metrics, my own maps that I've made and published at the workshop aren't that great. Like, I've made a lot of bad maps, honestly. But, uh, yeah, it takes a long time to make good maps, and a lot of the great map makers spend many days making a puzzle. So if you make your puzzle in less than a day, you either got really lucky, or it's probably not going to be too good. That's- that's just a general rule of thumb. Making puzzles is not easy, and you should not expect it to take less than a few days if you want to make a good one. But anyway, let's get started with the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects it. Difficulty soft medium, this test uses matter inquisition fields, the gold fizzlers, these fizzle cubes and block portal shots, but do not clear portals. No glitches, tricks, or ninja moves required. Look at the change notes to see changes. Alright, well, let's get started then. Oh man, I love this B-Mod introduction. I don't think I've seen this one before. Maybe I- maybe I've skipped it all the time. But this is a really good one, Team Spin. Or whoever made this. Nice work. Hmm. We've got some portal surfaces up there. That's- oh, we could launch ourselves if we wanted to. I think we should do that to start off with, in fact. Oh wait, there was something there. Or pure Neville, what's down there? Probably a return path, if I had to guess, right? Yeah, probably just a return path. This gets us a cube. And apparently this is step one, according to the signage. Interesting. So where do we actually want to put the cube now? I'm assuming that ant line... What would that ant line go to? Well, there's the button there. That's- that's an obvious candidate for putting the cube. Uh, I was trying to figure out... There's signage on that, but then there's an antline. Is that an angle panel or a flip panel? Guess we'll find out. Excuse me! Was that a ghost? That might have been a ghost, or that might have been a weird jerk of my mouth movement or something. <laughs> ah, it's a flip panel. Interesting. Right, well, let's see if we can get across over to there now. So let's go ahead and work on that, I suppose. And of course. Well, that's that's death. Let's let's try that again, perhaps. <laughs> ah. Sometimes portal funneling doesn't quite work. Especially if you try to fight it. Alright, so we're over here now. This is interesting. What? No, I wanted to grab the cube, not press the button. There we go. I was somehow close enough to the button hitbox that I pressed the respawn cube button instead of grabbing the cube. As Nock would say, wasteful. Hmm. So that turns that off. That's good news. Yeah, there's the square signage. This is a portal surface for us to get back, but we can't take any cubes through there. At the end of the day, we want to launch up to there. Gotcha. So, I think if we do something like... that... this. What am I missing here? We're gonna need to do something. Oh, right, that's- that's off now. I didn't notice that. Uh, what turned that off again? This did. I see. Did it? It actually... Does it even have signage? It can't have signage, because there's stuff everywhere. There's lights up on all sides of it, and then there's a fizzler in the way where the signage would go, so who knows? But I think- I think we have our candidate here. Yeah, that's exactly what this button did. Okay. Right, so. That means we have to use this 
for our momentum, which means we need to remove that cube from its perch. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. We even take the cube with us, I think. Yeah, that should work out just fine. So now we can do this, right? Oh yeah, that wasn't too bad. What? What? How does that even happen? I didn't even move! I didn't even move! This game... This game is so weird. There we go, it didn't happen that time. I like how you put a little indent here just to make it easier to get up here. That's much appreciated. Oh, it looks like we had to bring the cube with us. Alright, well... Yeah, so that was pretty simple. It looked like it had a lot more going on with it, but it actually wasn't that much. Like, once we get up there, these are not... Like, this whole area up here was just kinda only used once, so there wasn't much to it. A lot of these things were just used once, and... Yeah, that's one of the things to avoid, is when something is only used once in your puzzle, you should try to maybe see if you can get it to be used multiple times. It's not always possible, but it shouldn't really be something to strive for. If it's used at two different times in two different ways, then it's much better. This cube got used twice, but this cube, I literally spawned it, and put it on the button, and that was it. Never moved it anywhere else. Not sure what that's about, anyway. But, uh, yeah, that cube only got used once, and it, like, it's right next to where the dropper is, so it was no challenge to get it to its destination. If something is only used once, then it could be a challenge to get it to its destination, and that's fine. But if there's no challenge to get it to its destination, then it needs to be used multiple times. But, uh, anyway... Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Why are these stairs orange? Anyway, goodbye. Must be rusty.